And uh, with me right here in the studio is our special guest at our Miami Fun and Fiddle Festival, Graham Townsend. How are you doing, Winston? Well, Graham, I'm doing really wonderful. And oh, that's uh, great. And it's been a long time. We've been waiting to get you here at Miami. So far, what are you thinking of? Well, I've been looking forward to coming out here so much, and it's finally happened. And uh, all thanks to you, something that we had talked about about uh, five years ago on Carrot River, I guess it was. And uh, I really wanted this event to happen. Well, and if you wait for something long enough, it sure will happen. And here I am. <laughs> yeah. And I know there's going to be an awful lot of other happy people before the weekend is out, Graham, because uh, we do hear a lot of wonderful things about you out here. We have for probably 25 years, and uh, it seems to be actually reality for me to see a guy of your stature to be right here in my little hometown of Miami. So let's hope a lot of wonderful things happen throughout the weekend. Oh, I'm sure it will. I, the few people that I met in the last day uh, have been just tremendous. The hospitality has been great, and... Uh, Everything's been just excellent. Well, we'll just talk about a few things. Uh, Graham, first off, I guess the proper thing would be, we know you started at a very early age. Just how old were you when you started playing the fiddle? I was eight, eight years old when I started playing, and I really got serious about it when I was about 11. I had uh, joined the uh, American Federation of Musicians, and my dad, uh, of course, he encouraged me to, uh, to get into it because he could see a, a bright future ahead. And also in the same year, uh, which is 1953, it was the first year that I entered Shelburne, and I was third uh, that year in the open class. And of course, the winner was one of the greatest fiddlers of all, Mr. Ward Allen. Well, quite an accomplishment, I'd oh, say, for 11 years. Oh, it certainly old. was. It really was. And you mentioned uh, your dad taking a great interest. I understand, uh, if uh, my memory quotes me correctly, that uh, he called for Don Messer for many he years. He called uh, from, her, uh, I believe it was from about 1949 until 1956 on Don's tours, Cross Canada tours every year. And uh, it was great again for me because it was, it was a great introductory introdu to be able to meet a man uh, like Don Messer. And it was just uh, a great honor indeed to be able to sit beside him and play. Yeah, and you crossed Canada with him many times? I uh, did six Cross Canada tours with, uh, with Don, yes. And how old were you when, uh, uh, when you uh, started across Canada? Well, the first year was in 56. So I was only 14 years of age. Uh, I remember time. telling a story about that trip, Graham. You should just tell uh, TV uh, viewers now just about that story. Remember you had to get a babysitter on that tour that they wouldn't allow you to come out uh, across Canada on that trip unless you had somebody to babysit you? Uh, That's right. Well, that was, an, that was one of the earlier years. <laughs> was that earlier? That, yeah, but I didn't do a cross Canada tour with them then. Uh, that was only in Ontario and Quebec. And I was, I was, again, only 12 years of age. So that's the reason I had the babysitter. And she was nice, too. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of an oddity. Yeah. Okay, you've got your first major win now, and you had some other very outstanding accomplishments. Uh, you played before the Queen? Uh, yes, the right? first time I played before the Queen was in our centennial year, on July 1st in uh, Parliament Hill in Ottawa in 1967. And, of course, the last year I played for her was just last October in uh, 82, where we played for the Commonwealth Games and uh, did a royal command performance for both... Queen uh, Elizabeth and uh, Prince Philip. That would be quite an honor. It certainly imagine. was. And you know she remembered all those years that had gone by. And uh, she has a great memory and a, lo and a lovely lady to go along with it. And maybe we should now just move along as to uh, what's been happening lately with Graham Towns and, and what's going to be happening in the future. Well, I just returned from Australia uh, over there for a month. Uh, a request by popular demand to go back and do another uh, 23 engagements out of 31 days, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And in the new year, we uh, have very good possibilities of coming up with a CBC Radio Network show. Uh, I believe on Friday, now I don't know exactly what uh, hour of the day, but they're looking at Fridays. And also going over to East Germany in March of next year, and back to Australia again for another five weeks, uh, mid-September to the uh, near the end of October. Oh, yeah. That's just a few of the things that are happening yeah. in, in the near future, Winston. Yeah. And uh, we know, uh, at least I know, you're not a very old fellow, and yet you've been recording for... 25 years. I'm celebrating my 25th year as a recording artist this year. Quite and we have uh, exactly 33 albums that have been recorded. Five have uh, been deleted, and we have another five albums on the way. So lots of material for the old-time fiddle lovers out there. And next year, when you come back to Miami, you will have uh, several new albums. I sure will, and I'm looking forward to coming back. It's, uh, it's great. 
great out here. The people are tremendous, and the food is great, that's for yes, sure. Yes, that's right, Graham. Your wife's a lovely cook, I'll tell you. I'll tell you that ham and honey really tastes good. Oh, yeah. Two o'clock in the now, morning. There's a lot of story behind that, isn't there, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we'll just, uh, before the weekend is out, there's certainly lots of action ahead. Uh, for this weekend, we know you're going to meet a lot more wonderful people because we think we've got some of the most wonderful people that there is uh, coming right to our festival here at Miami. A lot of fine fiddle players, too, out yes, here. Yes, there's a lot of you're good darn fiddle right. players, but we got a better one right here. Well, we I don't know. <laughs> Thanks ever Thank so you, much. Thank you, Winston. It's been a pleasure indeed. For being here at Miami. Great. And you're going to be here. We've got a real hectic couple of days coming up, and I think it's time now to get started with the Graham Townsend Show. And Wonderful. 